So let's try this out. Let's get rid of this stuff and focus on this. First off, I noticed that a lot of people in the comments solve for A, B, and C separately. That is not required here. We only need to solve for B to the B power. So this purple stuff is the original question. I'm gonna copy these three things down. So first, I wanna get rid of the Bs and Cs in the exponent. So the way you do that is you use logarithms. So I'm gonna take the log of both sides of all three of these. So one of the most important properties of logarithms says that we can bring this exponent to the front and we can do that for all three of these. And next, I wanna divide both sides by natural natural log of A, natural log of B, and natural log of A. These will cancel, these will cancel, and these will cancel, leaving us with just B and C, and we can scoot them over. We now know that C is equal to the natural log of 7 over natural log of A, so I'm going to substitute that in for this C right here, and now we don't need this anymore. And for this one, I think I'm going to undo what I did earlier. I'm going to multiply both sides by natural log of A, get rid of these. So now we have natural log of A times B is equal to natural log 343. So looking at these, I noticed that both of these have a natural log of A, so I want to get this natural log of A alone on one side so I can substitute it. So first I want to flip them over. So I'm going to do both sides to the negative one exponent. So we're going to take the reciprocal of this and we're going to take the reciprocal of this. And let's smush everything together and multiply both sides by natural log of seven. On the left hand side, these cancel. So I'm left with just natural log of A. And on the right hand side, let's just switch these two. Now we have the natural log of A by itself. And I want to substitute all of this stuff into the natural log of A. There we go. So this was substituted into here. And now we don't need this anymore. Let's bring this down here. Let's multiply both sides by the reciprocal reciprocal of this. Left hand side these cancel and on the right hand side this can become a single fraction. This is kind of confusing. I want to move the b to the front because it's b times natural log of b. And if you remember with logarithms one of the exponents is this thing in the front can be brought up here. So just like what we did earlier where we brought it out but we can also bring it the other direction. So now we have a b to the b that's what we were hoping for. This 343 can be rewritten as 7 cubed and I can bring the 3 to the front. These natural log of 7s can cancel each other out so I'm left with 3 natural log of 10. Well this 3 can be brought up here and 10 cubed means 10 times 10 times 10, which is 1,000. The only way that two logs can be equal to each other is if the stuff that's inside is equal to each other. So we can say b to the b is equal to 1,000. Or if you prefer to think of it this way, you can do both sides e to the power of both those sides. And then one of the properties of natural logs is these cancel. But either way you think of it, we have b to the b and it's equal to 1,000. How exciting.